everyone and welcome to the third episode of 5 Minutes with Fly Games. I'm Nico. And I'm Jonah and today we have some pretty big news to discuss about Roar Rebel 2, which I think that's great because that game's a favorite of mine. Yeah, you have been around for quite a few years now, so we're gonna also be talking about zombie gunship survival, so it's going to be a very exciting episode, so let's get started. So first things first, thank you very much for the amazing launch we had for Zombie Gunship Survival. Yeah, it's, it's been a good one. So the game's been downloaded more than 4 million times. That's a pretty big deal and we'd like to say thank you to everybody for that. Yes, thank you very much. In the meantime, the team has been quite busy working on the first improvement and balancing updates. And you can expect changes such as the health of the impalers have been decreased, but also the listing of weapons at the workshop has been improved. Yes, uh, those are two of the big ones. Other changes that are coming up, we reworked the zombie defense mode slightly, so yes. there are going to be two new crates that players can Indeed. find. Yes. These are resource crates, um, they do take up space in your armory, but there's no timer to open them, so it evens out. Yeah. Another change that we're making is the daily quest rewards. Yes. These are now going to scale based on your level, so for all you high-level players out there, that's definitely good news. Yeah, so these are just a few of the changes that will be implemented with the next update, and we will post all the changes on the in-game forum once the update has gone live. So the team working on Royal Reroll 2 has been quite busy preparing something quite special and unique for you as well. Yeah, um, we know that there are a lot of players who enjoy the more competitive aspect of the game. Uh -huh. So the team kind of sat down and talked about how to take that one step further. So to let you know what we're working on, we talked to Jan, who's the lead designer on the game, as well as Florentine, who's the lead artist. Yes, Jan and Florentine, take it away. For quite some time we are working on a new tournament mode that we call the Pro League. Um, and as the name suggests, uh, this mode is directed uh, towards long-term players who know the game very well. And the ultimate goal of uh, this game mode is to find out who is the best player in Royal Royal 2. Very quickly it became obvious to us that this game mode must be only about skill. So players um, cannot revive within battles, uh, players of this mode cannot use scrolls and everyone has the same setup. So they have the same hero levels um, of the same level, they have used the same units and spells within that mode. So it's really purely about skill and we want to find out who is the best player. Uh, in each Pro Leagues players have to beat a series of 12 levels. Um, and these 12 levels will change from week to week, um, as well as the setup um, that the players have at hand to, to beat that level. So every week um, will be yeah, present a new challenge and a new experience for those levels. It is uh, also very important for us um, that in terms of the time needed to participate in the Pro Leagues, uh, the game mode is rather casual. So players can play whenever they like, whenever they have time, and there are no cooldowns and no timers whatsoever. So they can just uh, do their Pro League battles in the first 30 minutes of the Pro Leagues or just shortly before the Pro League ends. However, in terms of level difficulty, there's another picture. Um, the Pro Leagues will start with a manageable difficulty, but already quite hard because it's directed for pro players. Um, but still the difficulty will rise from level to level. Um, and the last level of the Pro League we think is really completely unbeatable. However, players have surprised us so many times, so we are really looking forward to the time where players have figured out how to beat the unbeatable level. Every participant in the Pro League um, will have the chance to find and to win really unique items that you cannot get elsewhere in the game. So the only chance is to participate in the Pro League and win it there. Um, and the other very cool thing is that if you um, participated in the Pro League and you yeah, placed in top 10 or maybe even won the Pro League, you will get a really cool new shiny emblem in your leaderboard next to your name to really show off your achievement and yeah, that you won the Pro League. For the Pro League, we wanted to do a throwback to Royal Vault 1. If any of you guys played it, Royal Vault 1, you navigated via an actual map, like a 2D map, with your little hero, you would walk from level to level. And at the end of that map, there was this whole dark area with lots of crystals, and we thought it would look really cool. 
and we wanted to do something special for the project, so we based the um, like your your navigation of the pro leagues completely on that. So you have your actual map, you have your little hero moving around. We even incorporated one of the old sound effects, I think. So when your hero finishes a level there, it goes like yay, the same sound as from World War One. Um, and the look as well, I mean, you guys will see it's, it's very dark, there's lots of crystals, slightly mysterious things going on. As far as the items go, they're actually a bit based, the, the Pro League item set is based on this cape, also from World War One. It had a lion design on it, I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but we thought it was very cool. Originally there was actually also like a lion helmet, it never made it into the game, but we all loved it. So when the opportunity arose, we were like, yeah, um, let's put that in. So. The Pro League currency now looks like that design and the Pro League item set resembles that very much as well. So that's it for this episode of Famous with Fair Games. So we're going to have more details about those upcoming updates for Zombie Gunship Survival and Royal River 2 on pretty much all the social media channels we have. Yeah, that's the easiest Quite way awesome. to stay up to date on all our games. Just follow us on social media, which they should be showing yeah. here right now. By the magic of uh, editing yeah. videos and so on. So don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to have more details coming very soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.